Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today's Tip of the Day is actually suggested by my friend on YouTube, Modest Cube. You should go check out his channel. He's got some fun videos to watch. Uh, a couple of them are just slightly disturbing, but they're always entertaining. Uh, so many thanks to him for the suggestion for today's Tip of the Day. And today's Tip of the Day is, drum roll please, how to import models from Gary's Mod. So if you've used Gary's Mod in the past or even made models for Gary's Mod, you have probably wanted to pull those models into Source Filmmaker or thought to yourself, hey, I'd love to be able to use some of those models that are out there and available for Gary's Mod in Source Filmmaker. No problem, you can, at least with most of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either uh, uh, find or or go to the place you want to download the uh, mod or the model that you want. In this case, I'm looking at the Batman Classic Skins V2 by Venomous Beetle up on Gary'sMod.org. I will post the link to this particular skin uh, up on the video uh, when I publish this, so you can go look at it yourself. So this model is a is a model of Batman, the classic 1960s and 1970s Batman, and it's pretty cool. Venomous Beetle did a really good job on it. So I downloaded it earlier, but uh, once you download the file, you will want to place it in a uh, folder on your computer and extract it. It'll be a zip file, so just extract it with your favorite archiver whatever that might be, and you will find that there are folders in it like materials, models, settings, and so forth. And then you are going to need to find a folder on your computer in your Steam folder, and it is going to be Program Files x86, although if you use a 32-bit computer that might not be there, but uh, it's your Steam folder that you're looking for. So Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, user mod. So program files slash steam slash steam apps slash common slash source filmmaker slash game slash user mod. And it's important that these folders and files go into the user mod folder. Now if you look here, you'll see there's already a materials, a models, uh, and other folders here. So when you copy and paste this, it'll ask, do you want to merge this content? And you just say, sure. So I'm going to copy it and say, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So now I have uh, placed this where Source Filmmaker can find it. So I go back to Source Filmmaker and I want to use this Batman model. Well, no problem. I've already created a camera here. So I am going to put this happy little Batman model on my uh, happy little circle here. So I'm going to say go to the animation set editor in Source Filmmaker and say create animation set for new model and it'll ask me to select a model file. Now since I did this earlier to make sure I knew what I was doing before I recorded this, it's already selected. But uh, if you look here up here the mod filter, you'll see that there is all mods, user mod, TF underscore movies, TF and HL2. Most of the time you're going to want to select all mods because that'll let you find everything that's there. But if you select user mod in the list or platform, where's Where's user mod? Oh, there it is at the top. If you select user mod, it'll filter it to only those mods that are available in the user mod folder or models that are in the user mod folder. So your call on how you want to do that. But in this case, I typed in Batman and uh, well, I got the 1960s and the 1970s Batman. And it looks like the main difference is just some colors. I like the 60s Batman. So I'm going to click that and get him and it opens it. Hooray, we have a Batman. And so I am going to select the Batman and I am going to place him on the circle. Okay, happy Batman. Oops, what nice pecs you have, Batman. Now I'm going to say, I'm gonna import an anim a sequence just because I don't want him standing there looking like he's been nailed to a cross. Let's say, how about Well, we could have him, how about we have him reload a pistol? <laughs> That'll look kind of strange for Batman because he doesn't really go for the guns. But hey, what, what can we do? Okay. And I now have a working model of Batman in Source Filmmaker. And it even, in this particular case, has the hooks to do basic uh, animations. Most of the animations I'm going to be doing with this one will be the Half-Life 2 ones. Uh, but, you know, for what it's worth, you've now got access to this and uh, you can pose him and move his stuff around. Here, I'll show you. I can uh, go in here and I can click his head. He said, I don't want the whole thing. I just want his, where's the body? Unknown. There it is, head one. 
I can move his head around and make him look at different things. I can, I can rotate it, that kind of thing. So as you can see, it's a fully posable model. You can do whatever you want with it in terms of uh, Source Filmmaker. There are going to be some limitations with some models, and I can't speak for the quality of all of them that you fi might find on garysmod.org. But for what it's worth, the tip of the day, it's really easy to load yourself some uh, Gary's Mod models. Just place the folders and files you get from the Gary's Mod zip into your user mod folder and go crazy. Uh, it might be a good idea to back up your user mod folder or your um, your Steam Apps folder before you do this, just in case something does get borked up and you want to get rid of it and you can't find all the stuff. But that is your call. Again, I want to thank my friend uh, Modest Cube on YouTube for uh, for his suggestion for the Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. And uh, I've also published a version of a video that I did using this model with Batman running around and then running into a wall uh, just to show that you can do animations with him running about and so forth as well. So go check that one out if you're interested. I thank you for listening to the Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Again, I'm Jimmer Linz, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.